All right, so now I'm going to show you how to modify and also make new agencies for countries that may not already have them or new countries you've added to your game. So let's just start right click Hoi 4, manage, browse local files. You can move that to the side for now. And search up paradox to get to your documents files. Arts of Iron 4, mod. Click your mod. I'm not going to show you how to make a mod because it's pretty basic. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is go to common in your main directory, intelligence agencies, and for your mod, make sure make a common folder if you don't already have it. If you do, just keep it. Or just go into it. Make a new folder called intel agents underscore agent sees make sure it's spelled correctly copy this file over paste it into there you can open it up now if you want to modify one of these you can just let's say the UK let's change it to pineapple pizza sucks okay and if you want to change the logo, I'll show you how to do that while I'm creating the custom one. Alright, to create a custom one, just copy one of these lines. Let's start with USA, I guess. Change available, or the original tagged, to just tag. Um, names say golden office something like that I don't know doesn't really matter you should pick a name that actually matters to you though shadow faction or something tag put your country's tag in there so for me it's my custom country I made kingman Save. This is all we have to do in here, actually. Picture, change that to K I, the end part to your tag, and save. You can close that for now. Now we'll go to here, GFX, and main directory, GFX. Now you can go to interface. If you don't have a folder called the interface, create one. Go in. Look in your main directory for operatives. Again, if you don't have one, create one. If you do, just go into it. Operatives. There we go. Now, again, agencies. Now, copy a logo from any country you want. Uh, just trying to find America. Paste that. Make sure it's in the agencies folder. Rename this to what you change the tag at the end to your country's tag. Right click that. Open with GIMP. Okay. So once you have this open, you can just make paste your agency logo in here. I'm just going to modify this because I don't want to make an entirely new one. Again, I'm not going to give you a tutorial on how to uh, actually <laughs> how to actually make um, use this program since it's a whole entire separate thing. I will show you one little tip though. So that's good. Um, as you probably saw, I made like a little face. That's that's gonna be my logo. Beautiful, isn't it? So you have to have two of these images. One of them is the non-selected, and this is the selected version. So a little tip is to get that little shadow around it to look selected. Is just copy and paste this and then move this over to directly where that is 
Now you can delete the back part on this layer. So there we are. Click this layer, right click the layer, alpha to selection, filters, light and shadow, drop shadow, Offset 0, offset Y 0, blur radius 15 is fine. And it was like a brownish red color, so yeah, this should be fine. Opacity 60, that's fine. You can play around with these settings, but yeah, look at it. It's kind of got that thing now. So you can go to the top layer, click this, merge this layer down, merge it all into one layer, and there you are. So now click File, Export As. Make sure not to click Overwrite. Make sure it's export as, as settings may be messed up if you do that. Export, replace. Make sure your compression is BC3 DXT5. Um, save all visible layers. Mip maps is changed from no mip maps to generate mip maps. And filter is box. And click export. Now you can minimize that. You see we have it here. Now we can go back to the main mod file here and create a new folder called interface. Now we can open that folder, create a new file called mod underscore gfx, we'll call it, dot. Make sure it's dot, the file extensions dot gfx. I don't think the actual name matters, just that it's a .gfx at the end. Click yes, right click it, edit with notepad, and I'll leave the link in the description of how I got what I'm writing out, but sprite types equals open bracket, close bracket, press tab, sprite type equals same thing, open bracket, close bracket, Name equals there, texture file equals that, no number of frames equals two. So we're going to do two frames because we have two frames, obviously. And the name of the file. So the name of the file is what we're going to actually call it in. How is it? In this, so picture, this is what the name of the file is. Um, show you here. Go to common, intel agencies. This is what the name of the file is. So paste that there. Now for texture file, go into here, GFX interface operatives agencies right click that click properties go over here location scroll the way to the end copy from gfx paste that right there change all the back slashes to forward slashes and then add forward slash at the end and Go back into here and copy that full file name right there, paste it, click save, and we're all good to go. So now if you did all this and you were just planning on editing, you're just planning on editing one of these like I did to England, you could just paste that here, like if you wanted to, you could paste that there, I'm not gonna, save. Launch the game. Oh, okay. Don't do what I did. I accidentally added a second um, quote there. So I'm pretty sure that's what messed everything up. Let me just restart. Play. Launch it. Launch, test, let's just do my country first and then I'll show you England. Intel, create one of the names. You can click the photo and it works. Honestly, I'd make the shadow more prominent there, but it's fine. It works. So, perfect. Now we'll check England out. 
Intel agency create kind of a beat sucks obviously I still use the same logo but yeah so that's everything in the tutorial if it helped leave a like if it didn't dislike if you need any more help or anything didn't work you can join the discord because I don't it's kind of impossible to respond to or properly help people in the YouTube comment section but yeah peace